Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing today? I am Miss Wanda, and I am here to let you guys know that someone is thinking about you, and they want to rekindle, reconcile, fix the relationship, and get what they get back what they had with you, and possibly more. Okay. This person here is someone that violated the code, violated your trust, okay? Cross the line, all right? Not only just cross the line, but they play themselves, okay? They try to make you look like a whole fool out here in these streets, okay? They backstab you just to get what they wanted. Not realizing the problems that it was causing with you. It was only thinking about themselves. You never done this to this person, but they done it to you. Now they're at a place of saying, let's rekindle, I'm sorry. For what I did to you, accept my apology. Let's rekindle this relationship. Can we reconcile? Can we fix what we had? Can we get back to where we used to be at? Can we? This person is like, listen, the relationships that I ch chose. were not good for me. I want the love back that you were giving me. But I don't want to be judged. That person did not serve them any higher good. It was a lot of negative, 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 negative going, doing on both ends. Okay. This person wants to commit to you and doing good to you now. They want to love you now. They're like they've been judging themselves for quite some time, kicking themselves in the butt. As in how could they allow this to happen? Why they wasn't thinking? How they was played for a fool? Thought the grass was greener on the other side. Thought all their glitters were gold. And turned out to be that that wasn't even the case. You should have, they just feel like they should have kept well enough alone. Okay. This person know that they did hurt you. Okay. They see that now. Why? Because you have not been nudging. You have not been responding the way that they hope that you would. So this person is like, okay, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait because I know things happen on, in, on its own time. Everything is time going to happen in time order. Okay, divine order. Okay. This person here is working up the courage, working up the strength to really face you. Because they know they did wrong. They know they're going to have to face the, the, the judgment, the talk, the why. They know they're going to have to face it. Being ridiculed. But they know they got to face it because they stepped out of line and they did wrong. So they waiting on you. They waiting on you. They know they hurt you. Right now, they're really lonely. 
not having anyone to talk to, not having anyone to laugh with, not having anyone around who they can conversate to or talk to about their problems as well. It's like they just want to be complete happiness. They're at that place now. They was like, listen, I was going through a lot. I went through a lot of changes since I decided to walk away, violate, dishonest, be dishonest. Break the code. So this person is like, you know what? I need to get my happy back. I need to get my happy back. And their happy was with you. They're your yin to your yang. They feel like you are their yang. They feel like they are yin and you are their yang. That y'all were meant to be together. They feel like you are their soulmate. It's like this person feel like you, you have their heart. You bring them joy, peace, love, happiness. And that's what they want. They want their happy back. Right now they're lonely because you're not budging. You're not responding. They've been building up the courage and like doing little small things, but they're trying to build up that courage, that confidence to say, you know what? I'm thinking about you and I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for violating the code. I'm sorry for doing that to you. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What point they thought they was going to use? They've been going through so much, right? They've been going through a lot. Can't sleep. Okay, when you see this person, they're going to look like they've been in distress. Okay? Feeling like it's time for them to rest. And your arms, they, well, in your life, they feel love. When you was communicating and talking to them, they felt love. They felt appreciated. They felt belonged. Like they belonged somewhere. Okay? Like they were not all alone. But now they feeling it. They feeling that loneliness. Okay? When they were talking to you and y'all was communicating, y'all was chilling. This person here didn't feel alone. Now this person's on the outskirt. They're lonely. They're lonely. Depressed. Doing a lot of thinking. A lot of worrying. Okay. Hmm. They thought they had something. They thought they had something. They thought they had somebody. They stepped out on you. They did something that was wrong. Okay. Mm. So they want to reconcile this problem. They want to heal the relationship. They want to fix it. Okay. They want to do things differently now. And they understand that it's going to take some time, that they got to put in more work. Okay. They know that you have to evaluate <laughs> and think about it also. But they're going to be putting in a lot of work. Okay. They feel like they should have been paying their paying more attention to their intuition. Okay. Feel like they've been around someone that was causing a lot of arguments, a lot of drama, a lot of problems, a lot of frustration. Okay. Mm. Look like this person here always wanted something, always needed something, always was needy. 
this person here that was disloyal and and broke the code. It's it's like this person here was stable, okay? Had stability, had discipline. It, they had discipline. Okay. Mm. Yep, but was going this was a lot of negative things dealing with a rope with this situation. This person here has been reminiscing a lot though. Okay. Reminiscing a lot about the relationship that y'all had. They want to rekindle this relationship. They want to get closer. They want the relationship back that they had with you. Okay. Do I see this working out? Do I see y'all reconciling? I see this hurt being broken. Okay. Wow. I see the hurt. I see your heart. Um, I don't see you being broken anymore or sad or heartbroken anymore about this whole situation. I don't see you being heartbroken about it. Okay. Just look like things did not work out. All right. And sometimes it's just feel like you want to communicate to this person. But at a at a in a way like I would speak to you, but what you did was wrong. You violated you. you it's it's like there's no more trust there. Okay. Um. Also, it's like there is a turning point in this, in this person's life. Okay. Mm. This person here has been going through some some issues. Okay. They're going through some problems right now. All right. They're going through it. But it's like, as long as they can get to you, it's a lot of love. It's a whole lot of love, okay? A lot of love that this person have for you, okay? So it look like y'all going to, um, you're not going to be heartbroken. It's just going to take you some time to get um, through this whole situation and to like wrap your, wrap it around your head, like what really why now? Okay. Why you want to work on this relationship now? Why you want to get back what we had? Why? Why? After all that you did, you don't think you violated? Yeah. This person is uh has a lot of fear though. Mm. Yeah, this person here is going to take action. This person is not going to give up on trying to fix this relationship that y'all have together. So, they restricted themselves a lot too. They cut themselves off from other people. Okay? Trying to stay focused on you. Mm. Things haven't been working out. But it looks like there's going to be some type of breakthrough mentally with this person here. Like they're going to come up with some more creative ways to get your attention. Okay. Because they want that relationship. They want that friendship. They want that relationship. They want that situation back. They want all of that back. Okay. Mm. And the ending is up to you. The ending is up to you. Okay? The ending is up to you. Because right now, what this person wants is like, listen, they wasn't get the things that they want. Okay? They weren't getting the things that they needed. But I do see y'all sitting down, reconciling. I do see y'all communicating and talking. Okay, <clears throat> some of y'all will reconcile with this person. Some of y'all that was hurt really, really bad by this person. You're going to be like, looking at all, I see you, I see you watching me. I see you liking my stuff. I see you following me. So try, look at your heart and forgive this person. Forgive them. Let go and let God, you know, pray for them. 
pray and ask God to bless them, give them the strength they need to, to be happy, you know? That's all they want is happiness, okay? They've been already going through a cycle as it is. So it's like, listen, I want to be happy. Right now, I'm sad and I'm feeling lonely because I don't have you in my life. I know I messed up. I know I did. And they know they're being judged for it. So you all think about it. Leave a comment in the comment section what you think. What are you going to do? Are you going to reconcile with this person and rekindle the relationship? Or what? Or this person here is about to make a fake profile on social media. So what you going to do? Let me know. Leave it down in the comment, you guys. Know that God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Be blessed.